Hi guys, in this video I want to simulate uh, an, uh, a flyback converter. So before doing that, we, we need to uh, understand how a transformer works. Let's use an AC source to um, excite our inductance. So let's put 1 volt and 50 volts. And let's use a series resistor of 1 million, even less. Otherwise, you will create a short between an inductor and an inductance, an inductor and a voltage generator. So let's do this. Let's put an ohmic load on one ohm. Now we have you have to couple these two inductance, inductances. How do you do that? First, you show the phase dot to indicate the verse of the current. Second, you write a spice directive called k l1 l2 equal to 1 this k is the mutual inductance coefficient and this is not the tone ratio so i do not suggest to change this value here this one unless you want to simulate some losses or some sort of losses of the some sort now, now let's uh, um, let's use the, the real equation instead which is l1 over l2 equal to n1 over n2 to the square uh, so in order to design the um, the output voltage that we need, for instance, we want the V2 equal to double V1. Let's run a, 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 an octave script. So let's put V1 equal to 1. The prefix U equal to 10 minus, uh, minus 6. We will fix L1 to 100 micro. And let's, let's choose if uh, I made the calculation correctly in my mind, 400 micro. We should have the double the voltage. Let's see if, if it is a double of the half. I should, it should be the double. Um, so if we call this parameter n1 over n2 k, k is equal to s squared t radical square of the turn ratio. So let's put k equal to s squared t and v2 will be equal to v1 over k. Let's display the result. And uh, it doesn't work. Why? Because octave sucks and it is uh, case sensitive. So let's put v2. So the result is 2. The script octave works. Let's see if in, on its bias works. 100 micro and 400 micro. Let's run a simulation from 10 milliseconds and uh, the input voltage is uh, from 0 to 1. Sorry, uh, it is 20 milliseconds from 0 to 1 and the output voltage is from minus 2 to 2. Okay, exact, exactly as we planned. Now let's cancel this transformer, let's cancel everything, and let's simulate a flyback converter. The flyback is a DC-DC converter, so as of course you need a DC source, let's call it VIN. And the input capacitance, let's call it CIN as 20 microfarad. This is uh, not important. Uh, at the end of the simulation. Now we have to put uh, the primary side of our flyback and the MOS. I will choose a MOS with, uh, with the lowest run on the market and also lower gate charge. So let's use um, Yes, something like this should be good. Lower gate charge and lower run. Let's use uh, all the parameters needed for the DC DC converter. So the input voltage, let's say 20 volts. The duty cycle uh, must be less than 0 0.5 because this is an isolated converter. Let's put it 0 0.35. And the switching frequency, since it is low power, let's put it uh, 200 kHz. 
this should be enough let's use the a square wave so this will be a pulse between 0 and 5 volts should be enough delay 0 rise 1 nanoseconds for 1 nanoseconds and the time which the square wave is on is d over fs and the period is 1 over fs oh i call the I call it F, F, F switch, it's not a problem, call, let's call it FS. Uh, so basically that's it. Now you just need to, the, the secondary voltage, the secondary voltage, which is made basically by another inductor, and a diode. We'll use a shot key diode because uh, it is faster, it has lower dro lower dropout, uh, and so it is uh, performs better. We will filter the voltage with an output capacitance of 20 microfarad. We don't want to use uh, high capacitances because the transient will be too long. I will increase that capacitance if it is necessary, and um, one ohm load. So, let's duplicate uh, the secondary side and let's put uh, a negative voltage here. You can put a negative voltage by rotating the diode and if I put uh, 100 here, well, we can design the output voltage as we need uh, the calculation here is not uh, is more complex than, than you think, so you, you can't use just this script and uh, uh, only this script, but you have to design properly what the Flabby converter. The, I, have d I have done already the course in Power Electronics, but you can find on the web uh, Flabby converters and how to design the magnetizing inductance of the, of, the of the transformer. By the way, this is not a transformer, it is a couple inductor. There is a big difference. Uh, so let's couple these inductances with K, L1, L2, L3, L4, and parameter 1. And let's put, uh, for instance, 100 micro, 600, and 600. Let's run the simulation. This is uh, V secondary VS1. VS2 and VS3. Give me a moment and we'll change the name. And VS3. It should work. Let's run the simulation for uh, 10 milliseconds and start to send data from 5 milliseconds. The first thing that you want to analyze is the primary voltage. Okay, so we have a square wave exactly as we planned. The inductor current of the primary side is the is exactly the same as uh, in uh, literature in in electronic literature. So let's analyze uh, the secondary side. Wave also right there. So the first voltage is uh, okay. Um, I should uh, in, in, I should increase uh, the time of, of, the, of the transient maybe because we are still we are still in, in the transient. Ah, okay. Uh, we we should increase the output of, of the we should increase the value of the output capacitance because the ripple is a bit a bit high. Let's put uh, 50 micro in everything. Yes, it makes sense because we are draining a lot current from, from the load. So we should put uh, even a more transient here. And let's just see one millisecond. So I will skip all the transient 
and after some seconds I will see come on uh, okay the ripple is less than before so we have uh, 6 volt here 16 volt here and uh, minus 28 volts so i did not uh, i repeat i did not design with formulas it is just a, a simulation how you can simulate a flyback converter here and uh, it should work uh, quite fine thank you for your attention